I hope this is right. requires that it be removed for... With all respect, Master Arca, you are incorrect. The structure only appears fractal. If you view it through the lens of the Force, you... I don't suppose either of you is going to move past your petty geometrical squabble long enough to notice we have a visitor. Sorry to disturb such illustrious masters, but I am in need of information. No need to apologize, Jedi. They have a tendency to get carried away. The last person to use the Noeticon got so tired of hearing these two yammer, he shut us down. It was a mercy. Wait, Master Thoris. Where is the Jedi Temple? We seem to have been moved. The temple has been destroyed, and its contents ransacked. Destroyed? Has any of the knowledge been recovered? This is the first Noeticon I've found. It seems much has changed since we were last activated. And not for the better. Masters, I've come seeking help for my own master, Yuan Par. She's suffering a mysterious illness. How terrible. Come, tell us her symptoms. Perhaps we can help. So, she claims the darkness is coming and talks of someone called Arcanus. And her mind is most affected. Hmm. I'm afraid we've plied our extensive knowledge of biological, chemical, and technological diseases, but this illness is beyond us. What would you have me do? Sometimes knowledge comes through ruling out false ideas. For once, Master Vandar and I agree. Yuan's illness is definitely not medical but we have accessed files that bear cross-checking. If you can find the Noeticon of Light, where Masters Noad, Nomi, and Woe guard the Jedi Order's mystical knowledge, they may be able to help. Where is this Noeticon of Light? We do not know. Ordinarily, it would have been connected with us in the temple, but no more. I'm sorry we couldn't have been of more help, but it's difficult without the other parts of the Noeticon. Find the Noeticon of Light, and seek your answer there. May the Force be with you. And remember, if you seek answers, you must always ask questions. Master Jedi, come look. It's the Senate Tower. I was raised there. My father was an admiral, and my mother was a senator. But they were both killed during the war. That's tragic. I'm sorry to hear it. Don't be. They gave their lives to protect this great republic. I'm sorry. My name is Spiracris Zerum. I used to be military, then a diplomat, but not anymore. Now I represent a group of loyal citizens willing to go to any length to protect the true republic from its enemies. 
What exactly is the True Republic? The True Republic is the one based on ideals, on the principles that carried us through history. Until now. Dangerous radicals are about to make a massive power play in the Senate. Senator Glirius Parvel is gathering support to break ties with the Jedi and establish an alliance with the Sith Empire. The dark side is always at work behind the scenes. I agree, but Parvel actually believes he's trying to save the Republic. My colleagues discovered a way to expose Parvel's plan to the public, turn the political tide against this insanity. But our one shot's about to pass us by. Parvel's put us all on Senate's security watch list. We can't even get near the tower. I can take care of that. You mean, you might actually be willing to help us? A diplomatic parcel is being delivered to Senator Parvel's office. All you'd have to do is steal the parcel and smuggle it out to me. Will you do it? I would be honored to assist you. Thank the stars. Until you came along, I was beginning to give up hope. A courier droid is delivering the documents to Senator Parvel. Use this scrambler box, and it'll hand the parcel to you. Just intercept it before it reaches his office. I'll be waiting here. That will be all, Minister. Dismissed. Captain Winborn contacted me. You thwarted an attack that would have killed thousands. You have my gratitude. Unfortunately, you also have a hollow recording I would like destroyed. Its contents will only cause harm. Do you know how many lives have been lost because of your deception, Senator? I thought the only life I risked was my own. I expected assassination attempts, not war. My opponent in the elections was a vile man. Lazy, stupid, and corrupt. He wasn't interested in building, only taking. I had to win. But I didn't possess as much wealth as he did. When those gangsters approached me, I accepted their donation, and I'd do it again. The people choose their leaders by popular vote. What difference did it make how many credits you had? Don't be naive. Wealth can purchase influence, and influence sways popular opinion. My opponent understood that too well. I stole from those criminals to rebuild Coruscant for its people. Set things right. I'll bring the Migrant Merchants Guild to justice. You hold the power to ensure my success. Let me finish healing this world. Please, destroy that recording. You're all clear, Senator. Thank you. I won't forget what you've done for me. For Coruscant. If you need help making this world strong, I'll always be here. You're a true friend and patriot. I'll see to it you're properly recognized for your heroism in the old galactic market. Farewell. Stop right there! I see what you're doing! How dare you accost the Senator's courier droid! Stealing documents, what's the matter with you? This is the heart of the Republic, the greatest bastion of democracy in the galaxy. I'm here to protect the Republic. By breaking the law and undermining the political process? I find that hard to believe. I know you people and your drivel about protecting the true Republic. However unpopular Senator Parville's ideas might be, the principles of the Republic give him the freedom to express those ideas. Jedi stand for peace. Not freedom. Then you should recognize that the Senator's plan is the best pathway to peace for the Republic. But the real culprits here are the paranoid fanatics you've gotten yourself tangled up with. Senator Parville is the real culprit. I'll say it one more time. Senator Parville has every right to exercise his political ideas. It would be criminal to steal his parcel. Look, it's not too late for you to turn around and do the right thing. I could even forget I saw you. I have this parcel of outdated agricultural revenue documents. Give me the Senator's parcel and take these to your friends instead. You're not touching this parcel. I'm going to expose you. You're making a mistake, I assure you. Senator Parville is committed to his principles, and I am too. Now, more than ever. 
You may slow us down, but we will see his plans become reality. Senator, please comprehend. Repairing Coruscant's infrastructure is green obtuse. To form the red parallel, we require a black bisector. Oh, this is pointless. I can't understand a word you're saying. I use mistaken words and request patience. This will be clearer. The lower levels are alarming and filled with casualties. Active collaborators can solve problems. Oh, I give up. Do you have any idea what this ambassador droid is trying to say? Aren't ambassadors usually organic? This is an unusual situation. I'm Senator Oranda. This is Patike from the Gree Enclave. Before you ask, the Gree are remote people, isolationist. They help build Coruscant's original infrastructure. We asked for assistance with repairs, they sent the droids. Are you sure you're a senator? From Agamar. Small agricultural world with no real pull in the Senate. Trying to change that by helping get Coruscant running again. The Enclave bargains resources and offers reversal of Coruscant's yellow concave. We commit to White Vertex to achieve this. Gree droids seem to speak in Gree patterns, so this gibberish is what I've got to rebuild Coruscant with. I speak attentively in hopes of comprehension. The bargain encounters great challenges. My delegates suffer assault affecting the maintenance, fire, damage, and fear. Do you follow? There's something threatening stopping you from doing your job? That is an approximate understanding, yes. Your comprehension is high. Coruscant needs these repairs to continue functioning. Patike, you have to convince your delegates to brave these dangers. Impossible. My delegates require aid from one accustomed to fire, damage, and chaos. A black bisector, you see? Very few are accustomed to the things you describe. I sense Soak perceive you are one of these elite. You radiate experience of green, yellow, white perpendiculars. I will compensate the black bisector with useful and valued items only available from the Enclave. My delegates will describe their black spheres for you. These are bold, courageous mission callings. Speak to them and learn. <laughs> Never going back. Never going back to Blue Nonagon. Now I am Yellow Concave. Injuries mark my chassis forever, and why? Ungrateful humans. How were you damaged? Fire, smoke, blades. The occupants of Level Below committed numerous assaults. My safe return was improbable. Never going back. Coruscant's life waters are sluggish, stagnant. Hadake commanded me. Go to the Level Below. Repair the broken hydro supply. Make clean life waters flow. I crafted a solution to achieve Patake's command. All was orange sphere until I arrived at the level below, then green perpendicular. What happened to you? Your language is insufficient to describe my suffering. Misery, wrongness, unprecedented perpendicularity, all too much. Patake failed to impart the lethal conflict enemies waiting on the level below. Many weapons and offenders despising my arrival. I fled Black Sun with my crafted solution intact, but the repair progresses unresolved. Coruscant's life waters remain sluggish, stagnant, without repairs. The Hydro Supply must have my crafted solution. Can I take your crafted solution to the Hydro Supply? You offer yourself as a black bisector. That is a gratifying, unpredicted announcement. I pledge to provide items of Gree ingenuity in return. Take and apply my crafted solution to the Hydro Supply. But do not apply before deactivating nearby flow valves, or pressure explosion death will result. Be alerted. Black Sun Green Perpendicular will provide onslaught. May you experience blue tangent and return intact. <laughs>